Good morning and welcome to the second of our masterclass sessions. We'll be talking about how to do your rotary graphics. Now we're asked about this loads of times and this is quite an exciting uh, presentation. So uh, without any further ado, over to you, Phil. That's uh, very kind of you. A uh, great presentation, Peter. Always, always good to hear you. Uh, always good to make you feel um, slightly concerned when you talk about the value of your camera equipment. It's always very amusing. Um, so there you go. Right, well, let's go into a screen share now. Uh, so um, we're going to talk uh, today about graphics and design and making your photographs and your graphics stand out in social media and externally when broadcast. Uh, so we won't dwell too much. Uh, Phil Diet, you all know me. I'm currently the president of Prescott and have another couple of jobs elsewhere uh, around the place. Um, you'll recall last month when we talked about um, branding, uh, we touched on um, several uh, different types of graphic support um, and these were the four that we mentioned. Uh, there is um, Canva, uh, PowerPoint, uh, Adobe InDesign and Adobe Photoshop. I know Peter's mentioned Photoshop there, both very powerful. Uh, we're going to not touch on them today but we're going to concentrate on Canva and um, PowerPoint. Um, I use them uh, pr pretty, pretty much uh, exclusively. Um, and um, it's, uh, they work really well for me. So I'm just juggling a couple of screens here. So Canva, it's a, a free tool. Um, you just go onto the website, uh, canva.com, and you register for a free, a free account. Uh, the, the, a bit like all of these things, uh, there's no such thing as a free lunch. So a, um, there is a pro version uh, and a, another couple of versions if you want multiple licenses. Um, the free version, you get pretty much most of it uh, uh, free, uh, the, the functionality. Um, I, I use a pro account, uh, I utilize it uh, for some, some work uh, that I do uh, with my day job. Uh, so we've got a pro, a pro account, uh, which is really good. Uh, so there's a couple of things that are handy there. Um, everything's saved online. Um, you can create your asset uh, for uh, most uh, social media types. So it will size the the graphic to suit uh, so you put it in if it's a twitter post or a facebook post uh, etc um, and it is predominantly there to produce a graphic uh, there are some templates for um, um, flyers and, uh, and posters etc but it's all single or double page uh, templates you can put multiple pages in uh, but you'd have to p p piece together the, p the pictures um, you can download them as um, a PDF uh, for uh, post printing uh, or you can download as JPEG or uh, J um, PNG files uh, for social media distribution. Um, it automatically saves everything there for you. Um, it's really good. Um, it's free, so go and have a play with Canva. Uh, hopefully, well, we are going to try and do a Canva live uh, this morning, which would be good. So, um, the next one is PowerPoint. Everyone's used PowerPoint, and if you've been using it for as long as I have, you'll have fallen asleep to many a PowerPoint presentation. And I'm, although that's got a, a, a place to do a presentation a bit like this, which is being created on PowerPoint, the way we're gonna use it today is just to create a graphic. So a single slide or a couple of slides that can be used to, um, uh, to, to, to make a graphic. Uh, one of the beauties about PowerPoint is that you can save your slide as a JPEG uh, PNG or a PDF and JPEG and PNG are excellent for social media distribution. So um, what I'd like you to think about as I'm talking this morning is if Rotary is all about telling our story and we always talk about Rotary storytelling, what story is being written right now? You may recall this slide from uh, last uh, last month. Um, people buy with their eyes. And as Peter has alluded to, the use of excellent uh, photography makes all the difference. We live in a world now where social media and graphics and photographs are the norm. People expect that. 
so they sift through with their eyes for the most engaging of images and the most engaging of photographs to glean their information and news and we need to step our game up so a blurred uh, out of focus uh, not correctly thought about photograph will just get skipped through it's almost a waste of um, posting time think about your photograph think about your graphic and think about your message so um, we're now going to get into a little bit of nuts and bolts uh, of the uh, of the session uh, I'm going to stop the share and I'm just going to reshare a different screen so we'll make sure we're all ready uh, which we are and here we go so so this is canva uh, this is the opening screen of canva you can uh, you can see um uh, there that we've um we've, we're logged in um, and we're, we're ready ready to go uh, so i'm going to try and do this live so bear with me not, not done this before uh, so we're going to do something with volunteering so i'm going to search all the different templates within canva that have the word volunteering we're going to scroll down and you can see all of these these are all ready to go and these can be all fully edited uh, so i've done a little bit of prep before here so the one i'm going to pick today is this one here um and i quite like this uh it's it's, it's a simple uh, uh slide uh, it's actually got two slides on it uh we don't need the second one so we're going to um just use the first one i've just deleted that um obviously the wording is completely um inappropriate here so uh but i like the word needs you so what can we do to that well i am just going to literally go in here and edit this and we are going to go rotary needs you uh, we might put it over the three lines there uh, we can move this around this box uh, to, to suit what, what we're trying to achieve and what I would quite like to do is insert some rotary logo here so um, in the uh, left hand side here we have a palette of tools and we pick uploads uh, and like all Blue Peter presentations here is the um, um, something that I've prepared earlier uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a mark of excellence and we're going to insert that and it drops it straight into the middle there. Uh, you can pick up these little handles here and size to suit where you need it. Uh, so we are rotary, I like it, um, I think something like that. Um, it's time to give back, rotary needs you, uh, join our team today, become a volunteer, I quite like all of that. Um, we appreciate every helping hand we can get and that's okay i think that's a little bit bigger and uh, let's stick whilst we are in rotary in the northwest let's stick our district identifier not with district 1285 on because no one cares whether we're district 1285 or 1286 so there we have now it's in my opinion not great colors here so uh, let's uh, let's change the colors and it's dead simple so uh, you pick a colour um, and what you would do uh, is you would uh, colour correct these colours uh, there's a, an opportunity here to colour correct them and in the background here if I just um, bring my I won't share it uh, with you let's just see if I can do it He says struggling here we go so i know for example that rotary blue from the brand sensor has a hex code hex let's try hex here we go zero c this is um we're doing this uh zero c three c seven c That doesn't look quite as that's, that's, that's rotary blue. Uh, we might change the um, the colour here. Let me just go back here. The text of the word. There's nothing like uh, live. Uh, so we change that. Let's change. 
So we've got our, our hand there. Uh, we might make that yellow and white. I quite like that. And I think this piece of text here. Now here, this is grouped together. So you just need to ungroup it to get the original text, which is this little bit here. I like that. Uh, let's make that yellow. So we've got, um, there you go. So that's a few seconds there. And we have created a, a Rotary Need You volunteer flyer. It's time to give back. Uh, what you might be able to do here is pop in some um, uh, contact details uh, and a call to action. So we might say um, something like, uh, find us on Facebook at Rotary Northwest. And we've got an email address, which is volunteer at uh, Rotary. Let me just get the spelling right. People who know me will know my spelling is absolutely exemplary. Rotary um, 1285.org.uk from memory. Uh, we might think that's a little bit small, so we can make it a little bit bigger. That's a little bit too big, Phil. Uh, that's a little bit too big. Let's go back to here. Um, let's just include all of that. Oops. So we'll just highlight all that text in there and make it. Um, we might just stretch that out. There you go. That looks a bit better. Nice and neat. Uh, one final adjustment before we save. Let's just make that just a shade bigger. Um, let's go with that one. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that uh, as, a, as, a, as an end. Uh, so what we would do there is we would download it. Uh, so you click the download button and you download the PDF, uh, a PNG, a JPEG, uh, and there is options for uh, video and GIFs there, but we'll download it as a PNG. It asks you for a, a size. And um, if you can just about see here, there's a pixel size underneath here. So we've got a small pixel size. I normally pick middle for diddle, um, which gives you a, a you know a very large pixel size there with 2857 by 4000 pixels, and we download it. Um, prepares your design, and what we will do um, with uh, that particular image, uh, if I can just uh, find it, just uh, it's just hidden there a little bit. Then, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the image that we have uh, downloaded and I will arrange for that to be issued to all participants. At the end, it will be on social media as a little, um, as a little uh, image that we took today. So, uh, back, uh, back in the room, that is uh, Canva. It's very easy to use. It's web-based, no specialist uh, software needed. Everything's done online. Clearly you need an internet connection. Um, you do everything online and everything's saved in your accounts. And then you just download the asset that you've created and distribute it uh, locally as, uh, as, as seen there as a JPEG or a, a PNG file. Um, so hopefully that's of, of use there. That's a, a very simple one uh, just to get your, uh, your um, involvement in Canva. Um, Canva has a very distinct look. Uh, it's quite fresh and modern, and there are literally, ten, maybe not tens of thousands, but thousands of templates to choose from. Uh, we picked a very uh, a simple one there, uh, but there's lots with photographs. Uh, and of course, you can upload your own photographs uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to the web portal and then bring that, uh, that picture of your own in there. Uh, specifically, we're concentrating on graphics today, and I hope that gives you a insight into uh, how to use Canva. Um, I'm very easy to contact, so if you've got any problems, uh, just uh, dr uh, drop me an email or, or find me on, on Facebook. So we're gonna have another little go now, and we are going to uh, try and do something on PowerPoint. 
which I've sort of prepared a little bit earlier. So uh, let's see how we go there. So please bear with me as I share my screen. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so what we've got here is um, a standard PowerPoint. Um, I've um, just got a little bit of prep going in the background, but this is what you would uh, start with uh, on your uh, uh, opening a new document. Uh, now, I personally like to start from scratch. So the, uh, the idea that it gives you a couple of boxes I um, remove first. Uh, one of the first things that you need to know in PowerPoint, because remember that we're not using it as a slideshow tool, we're using it as a, as a graphics tool here, is to decide the size of your canvas or your piece of paper. And if you go to um, design across the top here, there is an option to choose a slide size. And in here, you can choose uh, a number of preset sizes, uh, on screen, letter, A3, A4, etc., uh, and also a custom size. Um, for, the, for the benefit of this, I, I think we'll, ju we'll, we'll just keep it at A4, just, ju just because it's nice and easy. And as a default setting, A4 is not a bad place to start. For those that want to be a little bit techy, you can uh, imprint in here, you can de delete here, and you can put in pixels. So if you are specifically after after a particular size of asset to suit particular pixels um then you can uh, type them in there uh, i'm sorry that was in uh, centimeters you need to put um, px after it and it automatically converts that to um uh, so you can see there we've got a, a long thin because it's now sized that to 900 pixels in height um, but I will go back and choose um, A4. Um, it gives you a couple of options here. Maximise the fit, which is almost like a zoomed in view, or ensure the fit. I always pick ensure the fit. So um, let's have a little go here. We need to introduce a graphic that we're going to work with. So you would go to the insert menu and you would insert a uh, a picture from uh, either this device which is located locally on your hard drive or you would uh, download it from stock images and I'll come on to that in a minute uh, or online pictures so online pictures are a, a, a lot online depository and I'll come on to that in a moment I have to say on uh, stock images in with your subscription to PowerPoint you get access to all the, these types of images now these are all um, rights protected images there is no copyright on any of these images these are here for distribution uh, some of them are not the, 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 the greatest um, um, uh, editorial value uh, and something that you might be looking specifically you might have to uh, pay for but there is loads to choose from here and you can search by um, background or you know uh, anything you want uh, so we've got clocks here and animals and uh, landscapes etc so um, we're gonna have a little play around uh, with an image that I've pulled uh, down already um, and I'm just gonna drag it in so normally I would go I'll just show you again uh, pictures um, insert pictures from this device uh, but I've got an image ready and I'm gonna play around today with the um, the hashtag we use in rotary hashtag get rotary uh, because I think that's uh, that that plays quite um, uh, plays quite well. So I've got an image here that I've downloaded already, and I'm just going to drop that into the screen. Um, as you can see, it is not quite fitting the uh, the the, um, the the border. This is a high res image that I've brought in, and we need to adjust that to suit. Uh, so there's a couple of ways of doing that. You could just resize it, uh, so you can drop it into the corner and and, and resize it. Uh, which is there, uh, which is not a bad way of doing things, uh, but I think we probably lose a little bit of the uh, the, the hashtag here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just set it over here, and then we're going to make it a little bit bigger, like so, and then we're going to crop back to our A4 page. 
So let me just show you that again. That's uh, right click, crop, and you get the black handles here. And you'll pick them black handles up and you'll go, and it'll snap with the red line, as you can see there, to the edge of your paper. Again, you'll pick this up here, uh, bring it to the edge of your paper here, uh, crop. I'm just going to make sure I'm not over, I'm not, I'm okay there. And it's there. So that's our image there. Um, again, we might want to drop in a logo. So um, just for speed, you go insert pictures uh, from uh, this device and browse to the location of any pre-saved rotary logos. And those uh, members of the audience today that are from uh, District 1285, you'll notice that the public image team um, via one of our um, uh, team members, Paul Scullion, issued all of the logos for your particular club uh, at the start of the Rotary year. So you have a suite of districts and a suite of club logos that have already been distributed. That's how, uh, how good we are to you in District 1285. Um, just for ease today, I'm just going to drag them in because I've got a screen um, uh, ready next door. So we've got our road trip Northwestern England and Isle of Man logo, too big there. So let's shove that down into the bottom corner. Um, and I think it looks okay there. We're, um, we're clearly um, part of a, a, a bigger organization. And I have, uh, would like to use the mark of excellence uh, as we used on the Canva logo. Uh, so let me just drag that in. Again, it robs it into the middle, and all you need to do uh, now is uh, size that to suit. Uh, so that would be uh, somewhere there. I would be quite happy there. You can move it around. You get some guidelines uh, uh, to, to, to help you sometimes, but I'm quite happy there. So the hashtag, two fingers there, and uh, uh, crossed over looks like a hashtag. So we need to put a a, a text box next to that so um, the text box uh, you would draw a box to suit and the words that we're going to use today are, um, are get in fact I will probably do it like this rotary um, too small so you can pick from your fonts here uh, change the fonts uh, those that uh, I've read the brand guidelines coming to work will know what the, the, the fonts are, uh, but uh, the font for the rotary lettering is Neo Sans. Uh, so we'd, uh, we'd put that in, uh, we'd make it bold, uh, we'd make it big. So let's get uh, something like that. And let's sh shove that there. Uh, we make the text box a little bit smaller, just so it's nicely contained within our um, our our page there. Um, and we need some contact details. So, how would prospective people who want to get involved uh, get in touch uh, with Rotary? Uh, well, I'm going to slightly cheat here uh, and, and show you a couple of workarounds that I've got. So, on this slide here, I've already downloaded uh, an icon sheet. Uh, from the internet, widely available. So if you type in social media icons, you'll pick up a, a graphic like so, and um, you can um, uh, crop this to suit your logo. So if you just wanted the Facebook logo, you crop down to there, and you get the Facebook logo that you can move around. Uh, if you wanted another one, so what you do is copy, create another one, and crop, and then bring back, so say you wanted the uh, Twitter logo, you just crop into the Twitter logo here. And there you have a Twitter logo to match your Facebook one. And this is what I was trying to create here. Um, so I, um, as with all good, uh, I have one uh, prepared. So what we'll do here is we'll just stretch that out slightly. Just bear with me one second as I prepare this for you and uh, we make it all look good we know that our social media in the northwest is rotary nw 
So we would pick those six assets up. So that's three logos, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Rotary Northwest. We'd copy that and we'd bring it back to our base graphic, which is here, and we'd paste it in. Now it's brought it in a little bit small. Now you don't want to mess around with all those uh, six assets all the time. You've got a little control box here. If you click on that and go paste as a photograph, it brings it in as one photograph now. So it can be edited to suit. So now we have got our little logos all created uh, with a call to action for where people can find out some more information about, um, uh, about Rotary. Uh, but you might want to just put a little text box in just to add some information and entice them to get in touch. So maybe something like, um, uh, is time to, uh, time for you to get involved. Something as simple as that. And what you do there is it's a bit small, so you'd highlight it, make it a little bit bigger, uh, quite like that on the split line. It's as simple as that. And that's a simple graphic that's taken us a few minutes to pull up. It's a stock image, it's bright, it's fresh, it's enticing. People would look at that uh, and the hashtag. Uh, I, I quite like the feel of that. It's got a, a place for us to get in touch at Rotary Northwest um, uh, on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Um, I, I quite like that. So what you would do then is file, um, save, um, save as, and then bring up a, um, an option to save it as a particular file type, as we've said. We want to save it as a JPEG. Uh, you press save. Uh, it asks you if you've got multiple slides in there. If you recall, we've got the second slide in there with the Facebook logos that are manipulated. We don't want to do that. We just want to save this particular one. And that would save that particular graphic as a JPEG. Um, uh, and away, away we go. Uh, that would be ready for distribution. So Hopefully in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes there, we've created two assets, albeit quite simple graphics, uh, one in Canva um, for volunteering and a, and a, and a, and a call to action to, to get in touch with um, uh, Rotary Northwest, uh, and also one about hashtag get Rotary, uh, something that you could put out uh, to, um, to harness uh, membership uh, in, your, in your part of the world. Uh, like I say, they can be completely edited to suit you. So if they were an event uh, uh, or um, or anything you were doing uh, with regard to, to Rotary, uh, they can be put together. And of course, instead of inserting a graphic, you could also insert a, a photograph. And Peter's shown you the art of photography this morning. Uh, so using uh, a photograph and putting a uh, some text or a logo ac across it uh, is hopefully that little bit easier for you to do now. Um, there are more options when you get more advanced software, so uh, Adobe InDesign, uh, which is what we use for all the assets for Together Talks and Rotary Great Britain and Ireland use. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated, uh, but you get uh, significantly more um, options and more powerful to do to do multiple things. And, and Photoshop, you can do just about anything you want from graphics to photographs and, and, and tweak the photograph from just a, a small amount of colour correction uh, right through to, uh, to pro proper uh, manipulation of the, of the photograph for, um, for, for other uses. Um, I would stick with uh, PowerPoint. I really like PowerPoint. Uh, those that have seen some of the stuff that I've done in the past, uh, it pulls together... Um, uh, you know, really well, really easy to use. Um, you can put multiple sh uh, um, uh, graphics together and you can actually record them as a, 
uh, an MP4. Uh, maybe we'll cover that as a, a masterclass in future sessions about creating uh, a short video. Um, but uh, that is where we're at. So I was just going to show you now, if I go back to my um, screen share, so there you go, here's a, a couple of graphics that I've created. Some of you will have seen these. Um, I'm the membership uh, team lead for District 1285. So I do a lot relating to membership and joining us and getting involved. Uh, as um, Irene suggested at the beginning, um, I was involved with Think Differently, uh, which was something that was uh, born in 1285 a couple of years ago. Uh, so we've got a little thought there, more of an internal uh, flyer for us to think about uh, our rotary. Doesn't always have to include graphics, but you can put together some words that uh, make all the difference. And um, I, uh, I see that um, you know some, some, some words here uh, that have been put together. This was uh, in COVID. COVID has been a great opportunity for uh, putting little messages out there. Um, stay at home and save the world which is we've got uh, wear a mask um and keep in public then we've got um stay at home and here's one that we did on the billboard and uh, this was quite interesting a lot of people commented on this thought it was a real billboard um and um uh, thought it was a real uh, a real billboard uh, clearly not it was a graphic that we've adjusted uh, together we can make a difference. Here's one that we were created on um, created on Canva, actually. Uh, like I said, there's a distinct look to Canva. There's another one that was created for um, uh, some PPE that we distributed around the district. And these were little thank you cards that went into the packs of PPE. Here we've got uh, time to engage, uh, uh, time to volunteer. Again, with a graphic that was brought back. At the beginning of all this, we thought it would be a good idea to stay in touch and have Zoom meetings. They are ubiquitous now. So uh, this was the 31st of March, one of the first Zoom meetings that we held. Again, uh, there's a note there. That's a Canva one. Um, Happy Easter. Uh, we've got um, all about wearing the mask. So it brings about information. Uh, I, I quite like this one. Uh, this was uh, an idea I saw on Facebook. So this was 2020, 20 seconds hand washing, two metre distance, no excuses, uh, with a play on 2020. World Rotary Day, I'm sure some of you will remember that on the 23rd of Feb. Another play. Here we have the area of, uh, of, of focus for the, the, the up and coming year. So we've got now we've got a seventh area of focus. I wanted to just touch on, as I sort of bring things to a close, on resources. Uh, the Brand Centre is where you'll get all your logos. We talked about the Brand Centre last month, um, but um, you, you'll get mo most of it from there. Uh, there are lots and lots of uh, photo, uh, photographic uh, depositories out there. Here are three. Others are available. Um, personally, I, I use Adobe Stock. The, uh, the, the, there, is a, there is a cost there. Uh, associated uh, but you do get some uh, really really good large format images uh, but there we've got Sh Shutterstock and, and Dreamstime all very much uh, uh, similar yeah put a search word in um, we've got um, a couple of good Facebook websites uh, this is the Rotary public image graphics and hubs idea which is um, Controlled by uh, Evan Burrell in Australia, uh, but there's a lot of dialogue goes on that particular Facebook page uh, in association with um, uh, with graphics and ideas. Um, uh, you can see there the people. Uh, Irene's already a member of that, as is uh, Dave King. Uh, so it's worth joining that. It's a private group. Uh, so that's uh, uh, got some great resources there. Uh, there's a chap in America called Aaron Sainz. He's worth uh, following if you uh, use Facebook. He puts out some really uh, interesting um, uh, graphics. Uh, I quite like what Aaron does. And he's a big believer of wearing the, ro uh, the um, a bow tie. There's a little image of him there wearing a, a wooden rotary bow tie, no less. Uh, we've mentioned Evan. 
uh, Evan Burrell there. Um, uh, the, so um, Evan is, uh, uses a, a lot of rotary graphics to, to get over his particular points. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, worth uh, following him, Evan Borrell, uh, Rotarian. Uh, I have a few takeaways for you today. Um, of course, as with all good webinars and presentations, uh, not a KFC in sight, uh, but as Peter suggested, um, and we say at Masterclass One, you know, tell your rotary story. Uh, that's what it's all, it's all about. Uh, it's not just a photograph for the sake of a photograph stake. It needs to uh, to have a message in there. Um, use the correct brand. Those that know me know that I'm a, 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 a big advocate of the Rotary brand. It's an amazing uh, resource we have there on the Brand Centre and should be used at all, uh, all times. Uh, use great photographs. Uh, never more so, uh, as, as Peter explained, um, it needs to be a, a great photograph and you need to make the photograph and not just take it. Don't just uh, fire away, uh, but, uh, but enable yourselves the opportunity of, of, of making a good photograph. And lastly, um, be interesting. So be interesting in your photographs. People, there's hundreds and hundreds of photographs go out on on Facebook and unless it's an interesting engaging photograph it'll just get flicked through yeah 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 and it's the interesting picture and the enticing engaging vibrant picture that makes the difference uh, so that would be my takeaway for um, I hope you've enjoyed that I would welcome any questions thank you very much Thank you ever so much, Phil. Uh, very informative, as usual, very informative. And now it's interesting, we've, we've got a few questions coming up here, uh, but it is interesting, it is very, what's very clear is that just with a, a little bit of thought, you can create your own graphic very simply and just play around with it. Now, Phil's done it for a long time. I've done it not as, not as long as Phil, but you can do it quite easily. Uh, for those that have Apple devices, uh, you can use pages. I tend to favour PowerPoint and pages. It just depends what you're used to. They've all got the same templates and you can look at them. So uh, the one thing that it was very clear to me is you must have your call to action. Uh, there's no it's all very well having your fancy graphics but it's got to tell uh, you've got to have a story and get that call to action in there so right to the questions now we've got a number of questions here roy smith from my club warrington wants to know how much you pay for your copyright images adobe stocks standard uh, standard charges about 23 quid a month and you get 10, 10 images for that um, and I make sure I take 10 images, whether I need them or not, I'll take 10 images. So there is a cost to that, unfortunately. Um, but you need to be careful uh, with your images. Uh, if Dave King was here now, he'd be telling us about the uh, copyright protection mm -hmm. and we need to, to, to watch that. Um, we need to watch that. So I tend to use uh, copyrighted images. There is, a, there is an option on Google when you search images that you can search for, and let me remember the terminology. It's, um, I can't just remember, it escapes me. There is a, a term um, for, um, I'll just try and find it whilst I'm talking about it. You can search for. Um, I'll you, ask you another question while you're looking at that. Yeah. Now, I've, I've noticed this in a few of the graphics, and a few of the graphics that some people have done, you've got your own copyright. Um, emblem and Alan Jagger asks about this and he's asked do we need permission but I think it's not about that it's about something else so Phil would you talk about your uh, copyright yeah so I, I, put, I do put copyright Phil Dyer on uh, what, the way I view that is I can me time to produce the, the graphic which which I use and I think it should be respected you know there's time and effort and resources gone into producing that image and I think it should be respected Having said that, I, I'm delighted that it can be distributed, um, uh, distributed. And if you want to make a little mention, thanks, Phil. That is, that's all that we ask. There, there is an upper limit on the distribution of these uh, graphical images, but it's quite a high uh, print count or, or visibility count of, of about a hundred thousand, uh, and, and they'd have to they'd have to prove that as well. Uh, so uh, I'm happy for all of my stuff to be. Um, 
um, to be distributed. Uh, um, but, but like I say, I, I, I create them in my own time with my own resources. And I just maybe feel that um, it, it, it should be used, A, the way it was intended. And, and they maybe acknowledge that, you know, Phil did it. Um, you'll notice that um, yeah, Evan Burrell, Aaron Sines do just put a little note on. Uh, there's a there's a chap in um, uh, San Francisco club as well, and he puts a little moniker on uh, just to um, uh, just to tie it back. It also as well ties it back to me. So if you ever get picked up for using that image and go, you haven't got copyright to use that, you can say, yeah, I have. I asked Phil if I would borrow it, and he said yes, and I've got the license. So there you go. Um, it's just. Um, yeah, but I don't mind you using my images whatsoever. Yeah. No, that's that, that's that's absolutely clear. Now, I I want to talk a wee bit. I want to talk to you a wee bit about the district identifier, the RI identifier, and club identifiers. Who can use these? You know, you know, I'm a public image uh, district lead. Um, I can use up to a certain level. So, who can use what, Phil? What What do you think about that? Well, um, the, the, the way I would view that is that uh, if I'm putting something out specifically for Prescott, then I always use the Prescott identifier. Um, ha having said that, I sometimes think that there's a little bit wider, a wider um, audience for that particular graphic. Uh, so, for example, if you remember the billboard graphic that we put up, uh, I put up there, I think there's a little bit of wider feel for it. Um, and and uh, I am part of the Rotary International uh, public image team uh, so I'm a, a, an RPIC for uh, for um, region 20 as is Peter um, and putting a rotary based livery on the bottom of of that graphic is is sort of part of the the remit of being a, uh, a rotary public image co coordinator um, if I'm putting it out for the district of course um, uh, uh, as, as you know Irene we tend to use uh, uh, Northwest England and Isle of Man uh, and that identifies us for that part of the, of the, of the UK uh, and I would ten, I tend to do that. Um, I have to say there's a little bit more wider appeal if you put it out with a uh, with just a rotary logo on it uh, and there was a little video went out uh, with the, the, the Google search or uh, um, an implication it was the Google search for volunteering um, and that went out as Prescott and as Rotary International. So um, if you're doing something for your club and it's a club event, then it needs to have your club identifier on. If you're doing it for the district and it's a district event or associated to a district, it needs to have uh, that, that identifier on. Um, I think the, the one that's a little bit in between is the Rotary Great Britain and Ireland. And Alster like to, um, uh, con not, control sounds a, a little bit strong, but ju just keep their, uh, their, their presence uh, consistent. Uh, so I don't tend to use Rotary Great Britain and Ireland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that helps. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's very clear. Um, because what we don't want is um, images going out there the, with our own district identifiers on it or an RI identifier on it. And actually it's rubbish. We can't have that. So it's just about getting the feel for it and getting it right. Now, another question here from Ravi, and this is, I think it's possibly been answered, and it's talking about the downloaded rotary uh, logos. He's wondering if they're on Canva or are they available preloaded? Um, we've probably answered that, but maybe yeah, not to they're, they're not, they're not preloaded, uh, but the, the, the images that we've sent to the district secretaries, the, uh, sorry, club secretaries, club presidents, and club public image leads are in a little folder and they have um, your club logos. When you go to Canva, there's an upload button, you upload a new asset and once it's in your account, it stays there forever. Uh, so you can down upload them all, no, no problem at all. Uh, but Canva don't put put your your club logo in, in, in without you putting it there. Right, no good. And um, Mary uh, asks, how do you make the copyright? Well, that's dead easy. That um, in, if you well, uh, so in Canva you need to um, in Canva you need to down, down, download an icon uh, and upload the icon and put it in as a little picture. Uh, but in um, PowerPoint you do um, uh, open bracket C close bracket and it makes a, 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 a copyright logo, a bit like you do uh, colon uh, right bracket to get a smiley face. So it's open bracket. Mm -hmm small c close bracket 
and that makes the copyright logo dead easy. Excellent, little, that's dead easy. Microsoft suite there. Yeah, that's dead easy. Um, so Ian McTurk, he's asking a technical question. Well, a, you know, technical question. I do not have NeoSans standard text facility as a choice on my PowerPoint. Have you a super version of PP PowerPoint? Um, well, you've no, got something that he's not got. got. The PP, but I have downloaded the mm -hmm. uh, have downloaded the fonts. Unfortunately, they're a purchasable font, so. Uh, you need to you need to you need to buy the fonts as a true type fonts um they're not particularly expensive but uh, as you can see um yeah so you need to use it there are um fonts of, of available in the brand sensor which are mm -hmm. uh, rotary compatible so uh, Fujitsu is 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 one uh, uh sentinel uh, georgia are, 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 are fonts and generally um if you're struggling uh, you know, Arial is the default, um, uh, but Neo Sans is, a, is a, unfortunately a purchasable font. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So Alan's asking a question. I'm not quite sure really about this. So it says, Alan Ingram says, can I create a JPEG and put it out on Instagram as an advert for next week's meeting? Will they charge me? I'm not quite sure about that, Phil. Maybe you know something about that. No, it's just a, it's just a photograph. You're not. Yeah. Uh, they won't charge you at all. You, it's mm -hmm. just a, a flyer, effectively. You can put whatever you want on there. Uh, so, you know, uh, meet me for a cup of tea next week or club meeting. It's not an advertisement as such. Um, mm -hmm. And you're just putting it out on your feed. So you, mm -hmm. can, you can put that mm -hmm. out on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook at any time. No problem at all. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think that's almost at the end of the questions. I, th I fact, it definitely is. There's been a few questions about will these webinars be available? Yes, they will be. They'll be available, I think, this weekend, Phil. Yes. On uh, YouTube. Uh, we'll be putting them out. They'll be sending them out to all people who registered. It'll go on to social media. So you'll get another chance to have a look at that and to go into some of the technical details there. So I, I'll just take me now to thank Phil once again for an excellent presentation. And if you've got any questions, you can ask us. Ask us, ask me, ask Phil, ask anyone in the public image. So it's um, some great hints and tips there. And it just shows that it's not just about the logo. It's about, there's all sorts of things involved in creating this poster, but it's easy done. So get cracking with that, I see. So what's coming up next month? Next month is social media. I'm going to be talking about some things in social media. We'll have a guest, a guest presenter. So... It just is enough for me to say enjoy your weekend. I hope that you've enjoyed what you've had this morning and um, get cracking with those posters. I'd love to see them. So once again, thank you very much.